Section 8A from the 2015 National 5 Physics paper. And uh, the question starts by saying a student is investigating the motion of a trolley down a ramp. The student uses the apparatus to carry out an experiment to determine the acceleration of the trolley as it rolls down the ramp. And the trolley is released from rest. So I'm just going to highlight here from rest. I'm also going to highlight the word acceleration because these are uh, key parts to the question. So well, what exactly is the question asking? If we look down uh, below, we can see that it says state the measurements the student must make to calculate the acceleration of the trolley. Right, so measurements to calculate acceleration. Well, what's the equation for acceleration? Let's write that in here. A is equal to V minus U divided by and divided by t. So those are the three measurements that we would need to make. The final speed, the initial speed, and the time in between those two measurements. So the um, final speed is the uh, speed as measured here with the light gate, and the initial speed is the speed as measured at the top. Now, actually, it says from rest. So effectively, uh, great, we don't need to measure the initial speed u. That's already been done for us by releasing the cart from the top. And so then we need to measure the t, the time in between. So one of our measurements is definitely the time between um, release and uh, reaching the light gate. So what we'll do is we can just um, add that in uh, down here. So we'll just put that in here and clear everything else. And we'll put in our text one uh, time for trolley to um, travel from rest to the light gear. Okay, so that's the first measurement. And then, as I said, the second two were the um, speed of the trolley at the bottom, which is uh, the time through the light gate with the electronic timer and the length of the um, card on the, uh, on the trolley. So number two, uh, length of card on trolley. Um, I'm going to be saying measured with ruler. And three is the time through um, or the time for a card to travel through the light gear. Now there are a couple of things just to, to say here to make clear here. This first one, the time for the trolley to travel from rest to the light gate. It wouldn't be sufficient just to say um, the time for the trolley to travel down the ramp um, because that's not specifying exactly um, how far it's travelling. It also wouldn't be sufficient just to say the time as measured on the stop clock because it doesn't explain what the stop clock is actually measuring. For the second one, you would need to be careful um, just to be specific about the length of the card that you're measuring. Um, it's the card that passes through the light gate, not the trolley itself. So if you said the length of the trolley, you might get the mark, but it's important to say the length of the card. And then in this third statement, again, you couldn't say it's just the time from the electronic timer, because clearly that's not telling you what that timer is actually measuring. It also wouldn't be good to say the time from the light gate, uh, because again, it's not telling you what the light gate's measuring. And finally, you wouldn't also be able to write it's the time for the trolley to travel through the light gate because it's the uh, it's actually the card that's traveling through the light gate that's measuring the uh, the time. Uh, so a number of things there just to bear in mind when you're writing these three statements to be precise about what you're actually measuring. So I hope that uh, answers that question and uh, you find that useful.